All right. If you're asked to find the greatest common factor for 25 and 30, here's how you do it. So the GCF, that's also called sometimes the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. I like greatest common factor, GCF, so that's what we're going to use. So we need to find the factors for 25 here and for 35. Then we'll compare them, look at the common factors, choose the greatest one. That's the GCF. Okay, 25. 1 times 25, that equals 25, and 5 times 5, that's 25. For 35, 1 times 35, and then 5 times 7, that's 35. I think that's it. So we have our factors for 25, 35. Let's see what we have in common. So 1, 1 goes into both 25 and 35 evenly. And then we have 5, and I think 5 is the largest number that goes into both 25 and 30. So 5, that's the GCF. So in answer to our question, when we find the greatest common factor for 25 and 35, we get 5. You could do this by other methods like prime factorization, but unless you have kind of a large number, this is probably quicker. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.